Hello, and welcome back. Well, today we're going to start episode 2 of season 2. Yeah, this is going to get really rough. Alright, last time we made a split decision on whether to save the one guy or the grandpa or whatever he is. Uh, the old guy got bit. We ran with him. Maybe we could save him. We could salvage this. A house divided. Oh boy. Well, uh, here goes nothing, I guess. It's gonna be fine, I'm sure. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about Cole. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! Shouldn't be able to get through that. Yeah, but we gotta do something about your leg. Can't get through them. For the infection spreads. Sir. I can chop it off. You won't feel a thing. It's like a little pinch. <laughs> Just quick. Staring Palat. What are you going to do? Hand me that there. You wanna do it yourself? I mean, I could do it. I didn't actually even read any of those choices. <laughs> well, starting off great. I could do this for you, sir. You're not gonna make it. Bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. I mean... Just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll try to find something to help. Listen, it's okay. We'll be fine. 
I don't think I have anything. Oh yeah, it's the watch I stole. <laughs> I stole a watch. Anything in that? Sorry, it's empty. Cause I dropped it, didn't I? I? Yeah, I dropped around. it. I know that one guy drinks some as well. <sighs> Original flavor. Anything we can use? Cigarettes? One of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now, but I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had one. <laughs> Got a light? There you go. Well, Can't get any worse. That tastes about as bad as it smells. Now what? We wait. Sir, I can't wait in here with you. <laughs> you could kill me. <laughs> Child. So I could still cut it off. It's not a problem. You have a belt? Sir, don't be oh. dead, please. <laughs> oh, damn it. I feel like ten pounds of shit in a five pound sack. <coughs> Jesus, stuck in this can the whole damn day. You want to hear something funny? Just knock yourself I'm out. Thinking. And I don't want to die. <laughs> Probably too late to cut your leg off. I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. But there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Oh, at least spare me the bedside bullshit. Sorry. Would you... Would you promise me you'll watch out for Nick? I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Oh. You gotta remember that when you're a zombie? They ain't gonna find us. Should I just leave you behind? Where are you going? I'm not getting out of this. You're gonna have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. You're coming with me. To do what? Die a couple hours later than now? To say goodbye to Nick. All right. I'll try. Well, like my daddy used to say, <clears throat> we're burning daylight. Let's get this over with. Uh oh. This ain't gonna 
work. Go on now. Find my nephew. You have to try. I said go. God damn it, go. Fine. Shoot yourself. Womp womp womp. I tried. Still, you know, if you had let me do it. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just <laughs> don't open the doors or that child. We'll be back soon. With the outside and world of zombies. Thank you. Sorry, back. Say cheese. Whoa, cheese. I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He'll be fine. Are you sure? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just need to... Are you okay? Any medical issues I should be aware of with you? You want to see what I found? Sure, why not? Oh, <gasps> please tell me you don't have a gun. Show me how to use it. Oh my God, you got a anything. gun! If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay. But it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay. What do I do? The most important thing is, always aim for the head. Okay. Unless it's a person trying to hurt you, then what do I do? Just keep shooting. What should I shoot? Don't do that! Sorry, sorry. Maybe yeah, just don't point that at side. people. There's that tree. Really dilly like that. Hey, Luke's back. Keep on going. I feel like something bad's about to happen. <clears throat> okay, so is I there are children present. I am like nine years old. Oh uh oh. 
That's not Luke. Lem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I, I can't breathe. Hey, 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 hey. Shh. Hello? Hello? Who are you? Hello? How are you? Okay. How are you? Oh, well, I'm doing fine. Thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? I'm Carly. Carly. That's a sweet name. I don't know why I did that. You mind if I come in? Yes, I oh, do I'm mind. Good. I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Yes, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. Just me and and dad. Yeah. What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Uh-huh. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Anyways, sir. I'm a child on my own and you're a strange man. This is stranger danger. Uh-huh. It's a lot of plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, we're lazy. Well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through, or you've been here a while. Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Where do you live? Yeah, down by the river there. There's a sweet little spot with a boat where we pitch camp. Got uh -huh. a few tents cool. up and everything else. And like I said, I'm surprised we haven't run into each other. How long have you been there? Been there for a good while now. Really? Where does this go? Uh, in the drawer there. It's just... Keep calm. Okay, let's just keep it going. <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> if I have to, aggressive negotiations. Well, this is a real nice Child place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. It's a flannel. People wear flannels. Real smug, son of a bitch. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later. People close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Mm, sure. I'll believe it. Well, well. White's in trouble. Child. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? It's an old house. It settles. But you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. It's an old house. It's drafty in here sometimes. Woohoo! Hey, hey, sir! Sir! I did teach her how to defend herself, so maybe it's fine.
I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Yeah, like you. Sure. Let's the poke around. Who's this? Uh. Well, it's a kid. Yeah, looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? <laughs> well, trust is a two-way street. You know, it's earned and easily broken. Well, I think I've troubled you Hard to enough. earn. I can and it's you, Way Street. Okay. But wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Fuck off. Shouldn't have taken that picture, I guess. Okay, but I had to make her happy. Okay. It's Where fine. Is who is he? He's gone. We should have made sure, though. What if he comes back? Don't know. Listen. Why don't you tell me a bit about him? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Lemon time. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. You just opened the door for him? Calm he kind of barged his down. way. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. He told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? No, but he was very interested Maybe in you. Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Why do you care so much? Excuse me? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything <laughs> crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt right. us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. Picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. Listen, we have to try to have. Unbelievable. I'm sorry. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone, pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait. We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Okie dokie. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem, sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. 
Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long yeah. story. He... He has a hard time letting go. <clears throat> I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Right there. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Yeah. Zombie. Oh, zombie chow. And he's dead. Either way. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Blood. Gallons of the stuff. Pete. Hello. Anyone see him? Oh, my God. What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Shot. He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch. We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. We gotta get moving. Come on, man. Tell me. Tell me how it happened. The last thing he said was he wanted to say goodbye to you. Fuck. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Sure, Look, why not? I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Oh god, they're glitching! They're glitching! I saw that! That was weird. Ah, oh, five days later. Woohoo! Something Ugh, reaching, reaching, got it, nailed it. I'm in a rock because that's all there is to it. See anything? Uh, trees. She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. Oops, there's a lift or something. Carolyn, must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> I say not. Here, eat this, Beck. 
But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. We need to keep his strength up, baby. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. It's a station house, it's fine. Make sure there's nothing down here. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable little girl. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something <laughs> happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Ooh. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just I could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? Uh. What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Food. Nope. Safety? What's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. <laughs> Anyways, you... I'm you pretty sure he'd... Back. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. Probably We've kill all you made all. Mistakes. <laughs> Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? I know what that's like. Yeah. It's fine. Listen. Oh. Uh, zombie without legs. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. There are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. I've got the big one. Hey, kid. Look, it's not like I don't know you have guts, but are you crazy? I'm fine. Listen, Just stick I'm with the plan, okay? Okay, fine. I killed a man. <laughs> I mean, I did. <laughs> Give me my hammer oh, back. Give me a good pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before. Remember, in a shed. Yeah, you kind of left me there. What am I doing? I'll hold it. Nice work, kid. Ow. Ow.
Oh, hey, someone's behind us. Cool. Shit. It's fine. We'll be fine. Oh, leave me with one. Oh, shish kebabs. Ma'am, I'm okay. I just, I'm stuck. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, we'll, we'll figure something out. Behind you. Oh, shit. Well, hit him. I couldn't do anything. It wouldn't let me do anything. Excuse me? It wouldn't let me do anything. Okay. What was I supposed to do? It wouldn't let me do anything. Okay. I just I'm stuck. Behind you. Oh shit. Like, I can't do anything. Oh. Legs. Grab something. I did it again. Oh my god, are you actually kidding me? The problem is, is you don't get enough time, literally, to. Okay, good. Cause the thing is kind of finicky. He does it now. Hi. What a rush. Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. I lost my hammer. You see him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just Who cool. are you? And you do the talking. What? The, what? I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Yes. Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him. I anything. shoot me. What should I say? <laughs> I don't know. Ask him for directions. <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> I'd shoot me. <laughs> I would. Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? Oh, the biggest one. No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Sure. Everyone else? Every I see at least one group a day move through here. 
They all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Nick, no! Wow. Okay, Mr. Trigger Fingers. Okay, you know what? No more guns for you. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. <sighs> Somebody please take the gun away from him. Like, give him a knife. Like, a butter knife. That's all he deserves. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. Yeah, just, what I'm done you with see, you. Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? No. Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, but you could have. I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I. No, <laughs> I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. I say we leave the pregnant woman behind. <laughs> and Nick, just leave both of them behind. Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we'll spend you? the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. You know what? I'm just gonna go with it. Why don't you do something for once? Good lord. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm alright. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Hey, you. To kill my mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Who called? Had to kill my to dad. Me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan, some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, "Nick, we're burning daylight." And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. Mm. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. He could have been anybody. Right, we don't know. How do we know he wasn't with Carver anyway? If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. 
Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. Eh. It's the apocalypse. What can you do? What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. Okay, so don't be upset. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Don't be mad. I stole this when I snuck in the Thank house. <laughs> this means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Good luck to you. Hey, it's open. He does have food. And a radio. It's dead. I guess he slept here. Can I have this? I do need a new weapon. I lost my hammer. Feels pretty good. Let's just have a little smidgy look, look, look. Make sure there's nothing else in this place. At least he wasn't mad that I. <laughs> Listen, what he doesn't know. Don't hurt him. The man said he had lots of food. There's gotta be something left. Please don't break the knife we just got. It's a couple of cans. That's lots of food, I guess. Man, and I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Yes, he did have food. And fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Yes. Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she shot another guy. Damn. What you do? We left her behind. Damn. Peaches. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. Eh, God we all are. Perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. Let's go eat your peaches. The hell is that? Well, that's a lot of Zambonis. You got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Well, you're getting your steps in, lady. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? 
It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, great. Why is everybody sending the child to do stuff for them? Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Probably. Reassuring. That's great. Grip? Thank yeah. you. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was Parkour. fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Huh. And know your surroundings. If you want to do parkour, you gotta. Oh, oh, oh! You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. Why am I doing this and not you? You're I the just, adult just here. Slow down. Just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Let's just send the child to do everything. None of the adults want to do it. I'll do it. Oh. Pretty. Look at that. That is Made it. gorgeous. See anything? Trees. I can see the bridge. Is anybody coming? Hello. What am I looking for? Oh, here we are. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Oh, we got Luke. trouble. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, just do what he says. Henny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Hi, Kenny. My love-hate relationship will probably continue with you to here. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. We had a love-hate relationship the first season. We're gonna continue it this time, too? Probably, because you're sometimes a dick. <laughs> and you're kind of a coward. But you did do something brave at the last second. You did go there for Ben. Despite all things that Ben did. Denny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. <laughs> we tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found Hence this the stuff in storage, lights. we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? 
Do you vouch for these people, Clem? Let's just all be civil. If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Let's just all chill. Enjoy the festivities. It's Christmas in here. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Oh, come on. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Let's just all be civil. We could do that for five minutes, right? Have some dinner. Get a can of beans. Of course, this is the one thing I would probably never do, but it's fine. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. I'll probably try to have some type of weapon hidden somewhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you leave your weapons behind at the front door, things usually go south real quickly. And then what? What? what you, you're left with no weapon to defend yourself if you left your door at the front door. Uh, that is blah. Hi. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? Hey. You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Yeah, well, about that. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to. No, it's, it's fine. Just hard not to think about it, you know. Yeah, Dad was great. He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, nope. darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. <coughs> Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... Hmm? And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. Hi. You catching up? Yes. Clem, this is my been girl, lovely. Sarita. Ain't she Aww. beautiful? Yes, she is. Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Spitty. Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Hmm. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Okay. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Ah, <sighs> well, we're gonna end right here. And then we'll see what happens next time.